In this video, I will be showing you two new features that is available in the portrait mode that Apple just showed off in their September event. Coming right up. What's up everybody, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. So Apple, in their September event, they announced and showed off two new features in the portrait mode. One was the ability to be able to take picture of any object or pets instead of only faces that was previously defined in iOS 12. They also showed off a new portrait mode called high key light mono. So high key lighting is basically very bright lighting with white background and the main focus is on the highlights in the image. Now what Apple didn't tell you is you don't need to get the brand new iPhone 11 or 11 Pro to be able to have access to that feature. That feature actually has been available for two months in the developer beta 2 that came out about a couple months ago. So if you have an iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max with a simple iOS upgrade that is coming out soon to iOS 13, you will be able to have access to those features. By the way, if you have not had a chance to see the Apple's September events in 2019, I have a 10 minute summary video. I will put a link right up here so you guys can check it out as well. So let's try to take a couple pictures so you guys can see how that looks. Since I don't have any model, I'm gonna use myself. All right, so let's open up the camera app and we're gonna go to the selfie mode and put on portrait. First, we're gonna take the picture in the normal natural light and see what we get. All right, so we're gonna open up the photo, go to edit, don't judge me, judge the feature. Uh, so these are the options we have, natural light, studio light, which is one of my favorites, contour light, stage light, Stays light mono, and here's a new one. High key light mono. The second feature Apple showed off was the ability to take portrait pictures of objects. So let me go ahead, grab my drone. So as you can see, it now detects the, uh, the object and let me take the picture before you wouldn't get this. Let's see. So if we go to the picture and try to edit, we get the same options, natural light, studio light, contour light, stage light, stage light mono, and here's a new one, high key light mono. What do you guys think? So these were the two new features that Apple showed off, which again, you don't need to get the new iPhone 11 to take advantage of. If you have an iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, with a software update to iOS 13, you will be able to get these features. There are also a couple more addition that I think it's important to know in the portrait mode. Number one, there's a dial at the bottom. You get to adjust the amount of effect you get for that portrait mode. For example, in the high key light mono, you get to control uh, the amount of brightness and how much white your photo is gonna be. The second feature is if you go, let me pull up the background, here we go. At the top left, you have the option to change the amount of uh, blurred background or the bokeh that you get in your photo. And you can change the f-stop anywhere from 1.4, which gives you the most blurred background and all the way up to F16, which gives you almost no blurred background. By default is on F4.5. So this was it guys. This was a very short video to just show off a couple of the new features coming to the portrait mode without getting the iPhone 11 or 11 Pro or 11 Pro Max. It will mean a lot if you could uh, drop a comment and a like down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this video. What do you think about these features? What do you think about iPhone 11? As a matter of fact, I will be dropping another video trying to help you decide which phone you should buy or if you should even consider upgrading because right now there are a lot of different options available and I'll break it all down for you. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.